Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll walk through using Algorithmia Insights with New Relic to monitor our models in production. Algorithmia Insights is a pipeline for your algorithm metrics. In addition to your default operational metrics like the execution time, you can specify any custom metrics related to your input data, model attributes, or predictions. When you enable Insights, each time that a model gets a request, Algorithmia then streams these metrics into a Kafka pipeline. Integrating this pipeline with a powerful monitoring platform like New Relic, you can perform real-time monitoring and alerting based on these metrics and respond to important things like performance drift, input drift, or any other violations per your business objectives. Now that you know how Insights works, let's walk through a demo and see how you can use Algorithmia and New Relic together to observe your model performance. Let's start from the Algorithmia admin panel and check out how Algorithm Insights is configured. Here we see that the Kafka broker URL and the Kafka topic are configured by the admin, and this topic is going to be collecting all the Algorithm Insights. Now let's take a look at our algorithms. In this demo, we have two different credit card approval algorithms. One of them is using a gradient boosting model and the other one is using a random forest model. Let's take a look at one of them. The input to these models are a set of user features and the output of this model is the approved or the rejected result of this user's credit card application and the risk score related to this decision. Taking a look at the source code of the algorithm, we see that first we're loading the model, and then with every request, we're parsing the input data, feeding these fields into the model and getting the prediction of the model. And before returning these results as the return value of the algorithm, we're using Algorithmia Client's Report Insights feature and reporting a set of custom metrics. In this example, these custom metrics are the risk score, approved value, number of features of the model, and also two important fields of the input data, which are owns home and has work phone. Now let's take a look at how we can observe our metrics after we integrate our insights pipeline with new relic. Let's start with our operational performance. These two widgets are visualizing the duration and throughput, which are the default metrics that are emitted from every algorithm that have insights enabled. By taking a look at the duration comparison here, we understand that our random forest model is slower than the gradient boosting model, so its throughput is slightly lower in comparison too. We also see that our throughput has decreased for about half an hour here, but then increased again, so there must be a change in the workload or the scale of the cluster. Next two are the input data visualizations for the owns home and has work phone fields. Then we have a couple more widgets here to have better insights into how our model is approving or rejecting the credit card applications. We have charts for time series, comparison between models and different time windows. Let's inspect one of these in detail and look at the query behind the scenes. So this is how we tell New Relic to fetch, aggregate, and group our metrics. Using its flexible and powerful query language, you can have more advanced visualizations depending on your use case. As our last step of this integration, let's check out how we set up alert policies in order to respond to certain changes in our data. In this example, we have policies for the algorithm duration, the credit risk score and the distribution of the important input features so that we can detect and respond to operational issues, concept or model performance drift or input drift in time. By connecting these policies to incident intelligence, we include their violations in New Relic's semi-supervised issue correlation logic. This way we can reduce alert noise and have a general overview of our issues with the underlying events and their sources. We then set up our pathways and destinations to tell New Relic where and when we want to receive correlated issues. In our example, we have a Slack webhook as our destination, 
but you can set up pager duty or other options depending on your own workflows. So with these configurations in place, when New Relic raises an issue, the notification is routed according to our custom pathway rules and it arrives at our configured destination. Finally, let's test everything end to end. Here we're going to be generating some artificial traffic for our algorithms and deliberately violate a policy. So yes, we received a notification from Slack and it's coming to our new Relic Monitor channel. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now reading through the notification message, we see that it's coming from new Relic violations through the incoming webhook app and we have some details about the violated policy. It says that the risk score was about 0.5 for one minute. And now going to our new Relic account and checking it out, we see that we have an open incident here and going to our issue overview and filtering our active issues, we see that there's an issue that's standing and we got a notification through our pathways and destinations and checking out the details of this issue we can learn more about it we can check out the issue timeline and the related activity thanks for taking the time today to learn more about how you can monitor your models using algorithmia and new relic stay tuned for our upcoming blog post for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of this integration and reach out to us if you want to learn more